Hi everyone, I'm getting around to doing some videos again. Things have been so busy trying to catch up um, with all the Covid weddings and it's just been non-stop so I've not really had much chance to do anything other than just weddings. Uh, so I thought I've got some new foundations that I really want to try out. So it's the Danessa Myrix, the Yummy Skin Foundation. Now this, I've been waiting this coming in stock in the UK for quite a while. Um, when I first seen it, I don't know how long ago I seen it, but it's not been available here, but finally I managed to get it. Um, I actually didn't get it from here, I got it from Europe, but um, I managed to have it delivered for the other day. So I'm going to try it out, so I thought I'd show you it. So it's the um, see the Yummy Skin, so I got two, I got the uh, 9N and 6N, so I think that's just the neutral ones, so you can get it neutral, warm, cool, but I stick with neutrals because I think I've said before, warm can be too yellow and cool can be too pink. So I have just stuck for neutrals and I've got six which I think will be my shade, it's more of a light fair and then I've got nine which is more medium so I'll mix the two. I will get other shades but it was just to try out. Love the bottle, I thought it was going to be glass and it's not which is so good for my kit. I now decant all my glass bottles so all my foundations that are coming glass bottles I don't have them in my kit anymore. I put them into little plastic bottles because carrying that, my I mean my bag's still really heavy, my kit's heavy but it's a lot lighter since I've put everything into plastic bottles and the fact this is really lightweight so I probably won't even need to decant that, there's no point, that's so light. This is refillable as well, I'm not quite sure how it works, I don't want to make a mess and open it and it goes everywhere but you can buy, the. you don't have to buy the whole thing, it's refillable which I really like, I love anything that's good, you know, that you can refill and things like that so that's that. And I also got the, the Glow Serum, the Yummy Skin Serum and that's Main Squeeze, I think there's two different shades, I can't remember what the other one's called but that's the main squeeze one, so I'm going to use these together. Um, so what I'm just going to actually show you a little bit. I love the wee nozzle thing, I do actually quite like that. So I'm going to show you, just to try it on, see what my first thoughts are. I did try it in my hand earlier, um, just to see, you know, just, just, uh, I showed my sister it and I was looking at it in my hand. But it looked really yellow and we, we both had it on, but like, it looked so yellow in our hands. But actually after a while it just blended right in and it was it looked great so <laughs> that's good to know so i'm going to do this i can't believe i've got a big spot here I'm, it was my own fault it was um i was going on about my 11s you know this is that what you call them my frown like <laughs> my deep frown lines i was talking about that and i kept pointing to it and I've, i think i pointed to it and touched it that much and <laughs> going on about it and i've actually had a spot and then i scratched it so it's really bad so i'll be interested to see if this covers it up so i've got nothing on my skin at the moment this is just what i've you know i've put my stuff on earlier my sun cream and uh, all my skincare so i've had nothing on all day so this is like that too so i'm just going to use a little bit of this actually i'm going to give it a shake because i noticed it was quite watery before but i think that's just the way it is give it a wee shake um yeah that's better it's still quite watery actually but so i'm going to put this on first just to see a bit of mirror here so i'm going to try and do that so my skin, my skin tends to be quite dry, um, it's quite dry and it tends to be quite clear but it, I do have quite dry skin. Just so you know, I, I, I like to test foundations on my skin and see how they sit. So that's the, I can't really even see that to be honest, I can't really see, maybe you can see it, I can't really see, I'm going to put a bit more on actually. But this, this is just a primer. Um, that you put on first anyway. I think you can wear this alone as well but I've not seen much in that mirror but it's maybe just I need to get closer. <laughs> I don't want to get right zoom in there but so put, oh, it smells really nice. It smells nice. So again I'll just put it on under the foundation. I mean it feels quite nice on my skin but I don't know how to can see anything. It's kind of looks almost kind of on the packaging and that it's a bit gold but I don't really see anything on my skin so but I don't know where to put this on so I'm going to try as I say is the 6N so again all of these will oh, give us a shake too so I will start with my fingers but I'll also use a brush um, to put it on because that's what I tend to do I don't know if the lighting is that good in here it should be let me just maybe move that I don't know if that's any better it should be the amount of stuff I've done to this room and doing it all up the lighting should be good right so actually I'll just move back to that Right, so I'm just going to use that amount. So as I say, it does look, I don't know if you can pick up on that, but it did look quite yellow. Now going on there, that looks really a funny colour on me there, but I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> it looks a bit bizarre at the moment. That's quite, that's only, I thought it was only a little bit, but that's actually quite a lot. 
that is quite a good coverage actually so I'll, I will use my hands to begin with so I'm just going to do this so again it's still looking a bit funny although in that mirror there the light it looks really weird here but in that one it actually doesn't look too bad so I am just going to I cover up a little bit here I'm just going to do half my face at the moment just to see <laughs> just for fun so it just looks really mad doesn't it <laughs> so that's using my hands I'm going to use my brush I'm going to use I actually don't really like these brushes but um all my other ones need washed <laughs> I've had a busy week of weddings, um, so I need to wash my brushes, so this is the only one I've really got left. So as it is, again, it looks so much better than this mirror here. Really good coverage, I find. It's going on well with the brush as well. It's going on nice with my fingers, but it's going on well with the brush. Bit of, um, see my skin's quite dry. So it's kind of clinging to everything here. <laughs> Maybe I should have prepped my skin first. So I'm just going to finish off this side so it's quite I do think it's quite a thick foundation maybe I've used too much I don't know and see the colour it, it looks much better there it's really weird whereas on there it looks bizarre but I'm just gonna keep going with it <laughs> that's the whole point to test it out and then see how it photographs as well so again I'll put that on with my fingers and then I'm gonna use my brush so I do find yet, I did see that side it's sticking to. So it's quite a good coverage, actually. I didn't think it was going to be that much of a coverage. Although I suppose you can, like, I did put quite a lot on there. I maybe put in too much. <laughs> maybe that was far too much. It still looks a weird colour in there. I can't understand that. I think it may be one of these things though, that adapts to your skin. I think I maybe read that. So, you know, it should hopefully adapt to it. But we'll see. So again, just I'm just gonna use it. What's left over? So I think if you want some quite full coverage, I would say this is it. It can definitely be built up into full coverage. And again, I feel it's kind of clung to my wee bits in my nose. Yeah, it's not as. It's gonna be maybe I just used too much, but I thought it was gonna be more kind of lightweight than that, more like just like skin, you know, like more like a tinted moisturizer or something. But at the moment, it's quite a full on foundation, I would say. And the shade's still looking again in this mirror. I don't know actually, hmm, I don't know. I'm not convinced yet, which is because I like, I love Dunes Merick's um, their other foundation. Again, it's quite heavy for me, but I thought this was going to be lighter, but maybe I did use <laughs> quite a bit. I mean, I did use a lot, you've seen that. Um, and maybe you don't need that. I know with their other foundation, it's like that. You don't really need a lot at all. You just need the tiniest amount. Um, and because it's really, the pigment in it is amazing. So I think, going by that, I think I've used far too much. But that's good to know, that is good to know. So I am going to change the colour of the light in a minute in here, just to see it in the different lights. Um, it just looks really weird there, <laughs> I can't explain it, I just, can't. I just look a funny colour. But as I say, I'd done this earlier, so on my hand it was the same thing. And let's see, it looks in there, but then after a while it just, it kind of just looked normal. You couldn't see it, so I don't know. I'll wait and see if it adapts to my skin. So as I say, quite, I find it quite a full coverage, which I don't mind, but I'm not, a, I don't really wear full coverage myself, but I do find it quite a full coverage. Um, and that was 6 in the shade. So let's try this light to see if it makes any difference. Obviously it looks better in that light. And that's a cool light, I think. So it's looking a bit more <laughs> than, I think, with the warm light. I <laughs> know, Mm, no, that's warm light, but that makes it look even more kind of orangey, yellowy. So that's back to normal kind of daylight. Um, so I'm going to just wait and see, let it adapt into my skin and things like that. Um, I will come back on. I'm going to do my dress my makeup and that, but I feel it's starting to, maybe it's just my imagination, but I think looking there, it's maybe starting to kind of adapt. I don't know. I, I really do not know. I can't decide what I think on this. And as I say, I don't want to get right close into your face here, but um, see here, it's 
very it's clung to everything again i didn't put it on my skin this is the thing though you would prep your skin before you put foundation on but whenever i try a foundation on i never prep my skin first i don't know why i think or myself you know when i'm doing when i'm testing something out i like to see what it's like on my skin first before i do anything with it and i don't prep it so obviously you know i can't really judge it on the skin prep because i didn't do any so I imagine with good skin prep and that, it would probably go on a lot. You know, it wouldn't stick to those bits um, there, but I do have a bit of there. I actually thought my skin was okay recently. I didn't think it was as dry, but <laughs> by going by that, it is. This foundation's made it look really dry. Um, so, so, see, I will go and do a look, just finish it off and come back just to see. I'll keep this light on and then I'm going to come back once I finish the rest of my makeup just to show you. Just to see what I th if we think it's kind of obviously my hair and that's different. Um, I have a black on, sometimes black reflects back. Funny, but I'm going to do that. So I am going to go away. So it's not totally covered that, but it's covered it quite well, um, that amount. So I'll go away, do a look, and then I shall come back and see how I'm feeling about it. 